Hello, Cancerians. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, darling. Thank you to everyone who's liked, commented, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Yes, I do. If you'd like to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit the description box down below. And also check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for my price listings for other deviation and magical tools, my loves. Thank you. And I'm going to take a puff just for you, Cansadian. You guys had some high music. Thank you, Cancer. Hey. Okay, so. We're going to be seeing 15th through the 31st of May. What's going down between you and your partner. Possible outcomes. Things you don't see as well. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Cancerians, here we go. All right. Let's see what's going down, Cancerians. It says do some research and goodbye to the old and hello to the new Cancerians. All right. Patience, please. So there could be a situation you need to heal from. It says healing, healed, healer. Cancerian healing energy surrounds you. In this situation. And the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, okay? A retreat or a holiday getaway, Cancerian. All right. So, could be needing to, you know, do a little research on your person, all right? They could be doing some research on you. Yeah. There's definitely a new business venture here as well, Cancerian. Trust and follow on a new business idea or career opportunity. So it's saying to continue that path that you guys are definitely getting ready to take and the opportunities are going to be on the horizon for you. And it's also saying to be assertive, stand up for your beliefs and say yes if you really want to. Okay? And no, motherfucker. <laughs> so, here we go. <laughs> You tell that motherfucker, I said, no, okay? I'm not taking that. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> uh, I love it. Okay, I'm going to start telling people that. Motherfucker, I'm not taking that. Mm-mm. 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 Nope. Nope. Yep. <laughs> All right, Ken Sandy, here we go. Let's see what's going on overall. Okay, Seven of Cups. Wow. So a lot of um, options here. You could be making some magical elixirs, all right? You could be making some love potions, some money potions, all right? But you have the Seven of Cups energy. You could be wanting some options due to a third-party situation. For some of you all, you feel like this person could be coming in and out or they might be coming in and out. All right, too flighty. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, all right? It's definitely what I'm seeing here. Someone could receive some piercing information, possibly about a third party situation, or it could be uh, not only just, you know, a third party could be multiple people here is definitely what I'm seeing. Um, or it could be, uh, you know, an overall energy of receiving some piercing news, especially with that um, three of swords. But I am seeing here that there's judgments on the horizon. Definitely going to be uh, a new epiphany happening here. You will all, you could be definitely dealing with, uh, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, all right? There could be a situation where someone's wanting to offer you something. There could be uh, like a, perhaps a interesting way of this person changing their behaviors with this judgment energy is what I'm seeing here, Cancer. And also with the Emperor energy, you could be dealing with someone who's older or someone who has their own business. But I definitely feel like they're going through a lot of situations where they're wanting to offer you some things, but they're definitely wanting to take care of business here, okay? It could be that for some of you guys, you could be dealing with another water sign, another uh, air sign. They're wanting these messages. They're wanting to offer you something, even though you might be feeling left out. I am seeing here that um, there could be, in this overall situation, someone who has to leave away from a situation due to a third-party situation with the three of coins. Could be with a business or just maintaining a balance of overall um, keeping these structures up. And trying not to eliminate so many people in the process and feeling like you're having to have your guard up is definitely what I'm seeing here. For some of you all, there definitely could be a situation where um, 
you are wanting to analyze your feelings. You have the Queen of Cups energy and the Chariot. So I feel like there's a lot of movement drawing towards the situation, even though someone could have left behind. Um, I definitely see a lot of third parties. So this could be, you know, children. It could be a business. It could be, you know, uh, multiple, multiple energies of uh, different things going on between this person and you. But I am seeing that you're starting to have things in control with this Chariot. Now, there could be a lot of toxic energy. You could be dealing with a possible Capricorn for some of you all. There could be some messaging back and forth with this page of coins or someone who's visiting back and forth. But I do see that there could be um, someone who feels like they're being foolish or they could be bringing in some toxicity due to uh, some spontaneity. All right. For some of you all, your partner could be being this way. They could be trying to uh, bring in some new beginnings and shit, but it brings in toxicity is definitely what I'm seeing here uh, for some of you all, or it could be materialistic things um, that you're starting to see, all right? Some of you all could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Um, I am seeing here that there's definitely an action that's going to be taken. It could be that there's someone around that's definitely, um, you know, immature in their ways, but it could be that they're going back and forth in their head or in their actions with what it is that they're going to juggle or keep in the air, all right? Because it's definitely some third-party situations. Now, I do see here with the uh, magician energy that you guys are definitely wanting to manifest uh, some new energy. You could be in the magic, okay? You could be in the occult. You could be manifesting, making affirmation, things of that nature. Also, with the hermetic energy, there's definitely some in insight that you're going to get within, all right, with this magic. Because the magic is within, baby Cansadian. Mm -hmm. So, I am seeing here, you're going to get some, uh, gain some insight here. All right, so let's see how they view you. Okay, wow. Eight of spears, baby. <laughs> so, they're definitely viewing you as sexual energy. They also could be viewing you as someone who's definitely just worried about their coin, all right, more so worried about their coin than they are them and their attitude and shit and sex, okay, is definitely how they view you, Kansani, and somebody who wants a new spark as well. For some of you all, uh, this message could be that they're wanting um, a new, you just want that new newness here, okay, it could be that you're really wanting to focus on your financial status, but you're still wanting something new. But someone definitely could be guarded with this nine of spears, or something could be coming into completion about someone being guarded or being left in the shadows or in the dark. Look at this card, okay? Look at how they have the people in the background, but they're definitely guarded. So it could be some shadows, or it could be some things that this person is definitely um, hiding or is guarded to, but they view you as someone um, that is definitely coming out of being guarded but there could be a situation for some of you all that there is some spying here all right with this page of swords cancerian you could be dealing with gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces scorpio here all right also leo sagittarius aries so i feel like this person views you as someone who won't leave away from the situation but they are ready to make an action and you could be possibly you know being one of those people who are ready to make quick decisions because someone could be leaving away from a situation or someone has to leave away so they know that you have to strategize here, Kansadian. I do see with the Ace of Cups, they definitely view you as someone uh, who is full of love or they are full of sex, okay? There could be uh, <clears throat> some sort of like a message or an offer. You could be offering that, okay, for some of you guys. But I am seeing here that there's definitely a situation where you're wanting some new changes to happen, all right? And if you don't get it, you're going to start making that action. Yo, damn self is what I'm seeing here is how they view you with this tower energy. Like you're definitely needing some sort of release or there could be uh, a lot of situations where you're needing to make an action, especially if this person is not really willing to take the action first, okay? So, um, I am seeing here, Kansadian, that there is definitely um, a situation that you could be feeling unknown to, okay? Um, I do feel there could be a third-party situation that's definitely looking out to seek other, uh, to seek other things as well, is what I'm seeing here. Um, there was a three of spears. It could be that there's a lot of action being taken here for the 15th through the 31st for some of you guys. 
All right. Definitely could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius Aries. For some of you all, I am feeling like this person uh, is wanting to bring in a joyousness with three uh, people or merge with three people. It could be friends and family with this three of cups energy. All right. So I am seeing here, let's see, that the, the, they're definitely wanting some sort of justice energy here. You could be dealing with a Libra as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. So for some of you all, there could be a situation where they're wanting to bring in some justice and they're wanting to be very communicative with you with the eight of spears. Could be some fast communication as well. All right. Um, I am seeing here that there's definitely someone who wants an equal balance, equal give and take. Now, there could be a situation where someone is definitely needing to work on themselves, Ken Teddy, and to balance out this, but they're wanting to message you as well. So let's see what you don't see, because this is what I'm seeing coming up. There could be a possible situation where someone has to leave behind. Uh, but I definitely feel like they have a lot of offers. Um, they could be coming in slow with this Nine of Pentacles. Could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for some of you all. Now, also with this third party situation, I am seeing that some of you guys are um, wanting to just withdraw yourselves overall because you're seeing that this is not going to be an equal balance uh, is what you don't see. OK, now for some of you all, there could be a situation as to where your lover is wanting to show you an equal uh, balance, but they still could be at a distance. They can have their own apartment somewhere else. They could be, um, you know, wanting this connection here uh, because it's definitely a completed connection or it could be a karmatic connection. All right. Or some sort of accomplishment or integration that this person is wanting to bring towards you with that lover's energy could be dealing with a Gemini as well, but I do see that someone is definitely wanting some sort of, um, they know that you have a lot of things in the air, but they're no, and they also know that you're be feeling left out in the cold if you, uh, you know, since they are at a distance or they could be, you know, at their apartment, but I do see that they're definitely wanting to have a connection here with this 10 of, um, with this 10 of cups, Kansadian. I am seeing it's a decision being made whether or not you want to press on with this. Some of you all, I just see you tending to your own damn garden, all right, with this Nine of Pentacles and this Empress energy. Could be a new beginning, okay, or could be a decision that's made, could be due to someone who's pregnant or someone who has a child. For some of you all with this Empress energy, I feel like... Um, Someone feels as though there could be a situation that might start back up with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I'm definitely seeing that this person feels like they um, are tied to you and they're wanting to build with you with this Emperor energy. For some of you all, it could be someone on the side, okay, because I've got a lot of threes here so far, and for some of you all, uh, it could be that they're wanting to show you how strong they really are, all right, and I definitely see that your self-esteem is boosting because you are mending to your own garden. You are building. There's definitely going to be a final decision that's made here. Okay, damn, you got the uh, nine of cups. So I feel like what you don't see is that this person is definitely wanting a restart with you of some sort. All right, like I said, it could be due to a child or it could be due to children or just overall, you know, metaphoric metaphorically, it could be just someone who wants to have a new rebirthing in life. All right. You could be dealing with nature with this empress as well. Also with the emperor energy, you could be building yourself towards a new business. Or I definitely feel like you guys are uh, building this situation together. You have two of the major arcanas, my loves, with the uh, emperor energy and the empress. So I do feel like you guys two together are building towards happiness with this nine of uh, cups here for the 15th through the 31st. This is damn Kansadian. You guys could be dealing with someone older. All right. That brings that you feel like could be bringing a lot more to the table, but they could be at a distance for some of you all. OK, so let's see about possible outcomes, Ken said, because I feel like this situation is someone is trying to avoid argumentative energy or feeling like they haven't put up a fight by themselves. And there could be, you know, a lot of things from the past where there could be some children involved, someone who's younger that you're needing to definitely um Maintain and balance here. Now, I keep getting this page of source for uh, so far. 
I've been getting this page of swords, okay? I do feel like it's a situation you're going to be highly aware of um, the, you know, I won't say destiny, but I will say, you you know, the fortune of what's going to happen or what's faded, okay? You're going to be highly in tune to what is to come. For some of you all, you could be definitely dealing with uh, the magic realm or uh, white magic, black magic, you, you know, those affirmations and whatnot, especially with this high priestess and this magician energy, all right? There definitely could be a lot of crafting going on. For some of you all making new manifestations towards this happiness or towards a possible marriage as well for this four of spears. Some of you all could be going to a uh, tarot reader to find out if you should marry this person. Some of you all are definitely wanting to get your way, Cancerian. But you're going to be highly aware and highly in tune, all right, to your perception and what's going on, Cancerian. So towards the end of the month, definitely be aware that you're going to be in tune. You have the Queen of Cups and the Moon card. So I'm feeling like you guys are definitely dealing with a lot of uh, third eye usage, crystals, stone, new moons, and things like that, Cancerian. You guys are definitely dealing with um, and utilizing those situations, all right? Because you have the Queen of Cups and also the Knight of Cups. You could be feeling like this person might turn their back on you. But I am seeing that for some of you guys, there's definitely a messenger or there's someone who's want, wanting to go back and forth. They could be coming to you about mentally reflecting about a family, all right? You have the Four of Sword energy here and also the Page of Pentacles. So going back and forth or a message of some sort. Um, you could be dealing with some someone who wants to make an action towards you as well. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancerian. So for the 15th through the 31st, I feel like there's definitely a marriage on the horizon or merging some sort of family foundation and building a family, okay, uh, with the emperor energy. Now, for some of you all, it could be you're wanting to make an action or you feel like this person just sits around and rests and reflects on it too much. They worry too much. Or you could be feeling like you worry too much about a situation. So you're definitely going to be building yourself towards something that's healthy here with this emperor energy and with the four of wands. So you and your partner definitely could be um, wanting to merge or make a family situation, home situation. You could be moving in together. Okay, you have the full energy and the four of wands. Some of you all could be getting married spon spontaneously, all right? But I do see here you're definitely building towards a major structure. You have the two of wands. For some of you all, there's definitely um, something that you know this person is either committed or they're not, all right? You have the chariot energy and the three of pentacles. So someone could be making these major commitments. You have the four of wands and the three of pentacles. I definitely feel like it's a lot of commitments on the table for you for the 15th through the 31st. All right, but there's definitely some information or some news that you feel like you need to receive first, which you're going to be highly in tune to, okay? And it could be a decision that you're definitely thinking about, and it could be some mind games or brain games or some struggles you feel this person isn't communicating to you about or you're needing to communicate to them about. But I am seeing that there definitely is going to be a situation where you're just like, well, fuck it, I'm going to do what the fuck I have to do, and I'm going to be damn successful, okay? You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, Confetian. So this person could be wanting a victory with you. You could be wanting a victory within yourself. You could have your own business. Look how they're surrounded by their own, you know, it's just like doing your own damn thing, okay? And you could have some admirers in the background, all right, that you could be dealing with. Cancerian, someone is definitely wanting to, uh, they know that you're being admired and they know that you're definitely going to come out on that 10, Cancerian. And the justice energy is, is definitely here once again. So I feel like it could be uh, something that's coming into balance or there's a decision that's to be made through balance that makes that 10 come to a completion and with happiness Everything is all coming together with clarity, okay? Especially if you take this new uh, situation or this new opportunity, all right? I definitely feel like it's, once again, a lot of highly spiritual cards in the right or right deck, all right? So I feel like you are boosting up the intuition, all right? Bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles, but you have the strength card right underneath it, can say. So I feel like you could be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with uh, an air sign, a possible water sign. Uh, also... For some of you guys, I definitely feel like there's a new turn of events that will be on the horizon for you with the Wheel of Fortune, all right? 
All right, my loves. So if you'd like to get a personal brief, make sure you hit the description box down below, Cancerians. I love you once again. And also check out my website, Laurel's Moon. Dot com and if you'd like to get any other price listing price listings or any other questions answered you can email me at laurelbanks at gmail.com bye Ken Sadie peace